To all in attendance, welcome to Dover High School and the much anticipated graduation ceremony for the Delaware State Police Academy's 99th Delaware State Police and 95th Municipal Recruit Class. I'm Captain Daniel Hall, the Director of Training for the Delaware State Police. On behalf of Colonel Melissa A. Zebley, as well as all members of the Delaware State Police, both civilian and sworn, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this evening's ceremony. The significance of tonight's ceremony for the women and men of this class and just as importantly for the citizens of Delaware, cannot be overstated. Tonight's ceremony signifies the closing of a chapter and the beginning of a new chapter in their respective professional journeys. Much hard work, many good choices, and unwavering family support have guided these women and men to this very stage tonight. This ceremony is in many ways the culmination of many personal sacrifices made by both the members of the class and their families, as well as the meaningful and impactful lessons learned by the class throughout their training. Moreover, tomorrow signals the beginning of their faithful, unselfish, and professional service to the citizenry of this great state. We are honored and pleased that you all are here to join these recruits for this momentous occasion, so thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now our distinct privilege to present to you the 99th Delaware State Police and 95th Municipal Recruit Class. Sergeant Cordry, please present the class. Master Corporal O'Leary, Master Corporal Walter, Master Corporal Kukan, present the class. Please rise and remain standing for the presentation of our nation's colors by the Delaware State Police Honor Guard Unit, who will be accompanied by the Delaware State Police Pipes and Drums.
thank you to the members of the Honor Guard and Pipes and Drums, both phenomenal ambassadors of the Delaware State Police and the Delaware Law Enforcement community in general. Many thanks to Lieutenant Packer from Troop 2 for a fantastic rendition of our national anthem. At this time, <laughs> at this time, I call upon Reverend Jeffrey Miller, Delaware State Police Chaplain, to deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Dear God, our Creator, we've, we've gathered here in this place in, in anxious anticipation of the swearing in of these new law enforcement officers. We pray that the oath they will take, the values that have been imparted into them, and that the training they have received we pray they are, are embraced by them and become a part of their true character and guidelines by which they conduct themselves in and out of their uniform. Dear God, may your peace, your power, and your protection be their guide as they serve their various communities. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you, Reverend Miller. Please be seated and uniform personnel, please remove your covers. At this time, I'd like to introduce several distinguished guests who have joined us on stage this evening. I request that each guest stand and be recognized when I call your name. Kate Rohr, representing the Honorable Christopher A. Coons, United States Senator. The Honorable John Carney, Governor of the State of Delaware. The Honorable Kathleen Jennings, Attorney General for the Great State of Delaware. The Honorable Nathaniel McQueen, Jr., Cabinet Secretary for the Delaware Department of Safety and Homeland Security. Colonel Melissa A. Zebley, Superintendent of the Delaware State Police. Chief Patrick Ogden, University of Delaware Police Department and President of the Delaware Association of Chiefs of Police Council. And of course, Reverend Jeff Miller. I would also like to thank the Honorable James T. Vaughn Jr., Justice of the Delaware Supreme Court for administering the oath of office to the 99th Delaware State Police class. Special recognition goes out to Captain Gerard McShay of the Pennsylvania State Police, Captain Darren Pullman, and Lieutenant Mark Manzo from the New Jersey State Police, as well as Brigadier General Carl C. Deputy Assistant, excuse me, Carl C. Danberg, Assistant Adjunct General, Army Delaware National Guard. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking all of our distinguished guests for joining us this evening. I will now introduce the members of the Delaware State Police executive staff who encompass the core leadership of the entire division. I ask that each member stand and be recognized when I call your name. Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Meadows, Deputy Superintendent. Major Sean Moriarty, Administrative Officer. Major Peter Sawyer, Special Operations. Major Jason Sapp, Operations Officer North. Ladies and gentlemen, over the course of this academy class, over 150 law enforcement professionals, social service professionals, attorneys, community leaders, and others gave of their time to provide the members of the class with the highest caliber of training possible. Prior to the recruits' arrival at the academy, countless others also played a significant role in making tonight possible to include human resources personnel, background investigators, and a variety of police administrators and support personnel. The list of names is expansive and is in part included in your programs. Suffice it to say, we only get to tonight as a result of much hard work and dedication by many dedicated professionals, and this recruit, yeah, recruit class understands that and thanks all that have supported them professionally in their journeys thus far. With that, I would specifically like to recognize the following members of the Training Academy and Farms Training Unit for the dedicated support of the class over the past 23 weeks. Ms. Lacey Neal, Administrative Assistant. 
Mr. James Howard, culinary specialist. Master Corporal Jeff Ballinger, Master Corporal David Myers, Corporal Grade One Raymond Tartle, so, excuse me, Sergeant Edwin Justiniano, all the Farms Training Unit, and Lieutenant Scott Slover, officer in charge of the Farms Training Unit, and Lieutenant Paul Darty, Assistant Director of Training. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to introduce our full-time TAC staff. The acronym TAC stands for Trainer, Advisor, Counselor, and the following individuals have certainly filled those three roles and more for this recruit class over the past 23 weeks. The connections that these four individuals have made with the class are indelible, and the lessons taught by these individuals will serve the members of the class the entirety of their professional careers, and arguably the remainder of their lives. I ask that each of them step forward and be recognized as I call their names. Master Corporal Lawrence Walther, TAC Officer. Master Corporal Donald Kukan, TAC Officer. Master Corporal Sean O'Leary, TAC Officer and Sergeant Brett Cordry, Senior TAC Officer. I have no doubt now that many of you in the audience are now able to place a face with a name that was mentioned positively throughout your loved one's academy experience. The level of pride Lieutenant Darty, Lieutenant Slaver and I possess in the tireless work of these individuals is completely immeasurable. With that, please join me in thanking all instructors, guest TACs, and all full-time academy staff for their dedication and commitment to the training of this evening's graduates. I would now like to introduce the police chiefs of the five municipal agencies represented by the six graduates of this class. I ask that the chiefs please stand and be recognized as I call your department and name. From the University of Delaware Police Department, Chief Patrick Ogden. From the Department of Natural Resource Pol Police, Parks and Recreation, Recreation, Chief Wayne Klein. From the Bethany, P Bethany Beach Police Department, Chief Mike Redman, representing Chief Redman is Captain Darren Cathel. From the Middletown Police Department, Chief William Texter. From the Smyrna Police Department, Chief Tory James. As each chief knows, the Council on Police Training has well established minimum training standards for all Delaware law enforcement officers to include initial training through one of the state's six approved police academies. With that, the course curriculum experienced by tonight's graduates exceeded the minimum training hours required by the council. Chiefs, I thank you all for entrusting us with the awesome responsibility of training these outstanding men and women. I am confident that each will make you proud and will serve your respective agencies and the communities you serve with both professionalism and compassion for years to come. At this time, the members of the class have the privilege of hearing from four of the first state's esteemed leaders. I would now like to begin by inviting our first guest, Governor John Carney, to address the class. Thank you very much. Attorney General Jennings, Over Miller, Secretary McQueen, Colonel Zebley, Chief Ogden, Command Staff, Judge Vaughn, wherever you are, visitors from Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Judge Danberg, General Danberg, and most importantly to the 98th, 99th State Police, 95th Municipal Police recruit, recruit class, and to your family and loved ones who are here with us this afternoon. I've been coming to these graduations for almost 20 years now, and I'm always incredibly impressed by the quality of the graduates, and this year is no exception. And importantly, their connections with family members and others who are part of the law enforcement community. Invariably, there are many graduates over the years who have family connections. And I would also say that at these graduations, because of the nature of these young people, we always have babies that are crying somewhere in the audience. <laughs> and tonight is no exception, and we appreciate the, the presence of that little one. I spend my days as governor traveling up and down our state. The baby obviously took exception to me sitting in the crowd. And I'm extremely lucky to have state troopers as members of my executive protection unit. We obviously spend a lot of time together and I get to know each of them really well. And like all troopers and all law enforcement 
officers, they are really special people. Just a week ago, though, I was reminded of how special they really are. One of my protection unit troopers stepped up in a big way when he was off duty. The trooper was driving in Kent County southbound on Route 1 when he rolled up on a very, very serious automobile accident. Two cars were engulfed in flames. One car had hit the other car head on. The trooper, my trooper, if you will, didn't hesitate. He pulled over, jumped out of his car to help. And with the help of another bystander who had stopped and a, another on-duty trooper who responded, he was able to force his way into the fiery vehicle and pull two people out of the flames and basically save their lives. For me, that says so much about troopers and law enforcement, and it shows the difference between these members of a community and the rest of us. You are all the ones who run into the fire, who run into dangerous situations while the rest of us run away. And that's the team that these graduates are joining today, whether they're graduating as a state trooper or one of our municipal departments. The simple fact is that we need people who are willing to run into the fire. People like you, each of you who are graduating today, to confront dangerous, dangerous situations, to keep the rest of us safe. And that make what make you guys and gals special. We need each and every one of you. And that's why this is a happy day for the state and for all of us here in this auditorium. Of course, after I heard about the accident, I went up to my trooper, again if I may, to talk to him about the incident and his heroic acts. I wanted to congratulate him, to thank him, and to make sure that he was all right. His response was not unexpected. He said that he was, he was fine and acted like it was no big deal. It was part of his job. It was, is what he was trained to do, and he did it incredibly well. The fact of the matter is that the business of a law enforcement officer is not just a job. It's a way of life. And in so many ways, you're never off the clock. And today, each of you, each of you are joining this special team. And so as I said, it's a big day for you. And it's also a special day for your family and loved ones that are here with us. And to the families, I th say thank you for your sacrifice. I'm sure you're very proud of your loved one for graduating today, and you should be. The fact is, though, that you will sacrifice as much with your worry about their safety, about the very difficult and unpredictable schedules that they work. Let me assure you that we will do everything in our power to make sure your loved one has the tools he or she needs to do the job and to keep them safe. And to those of you who are graduating into municipal service, you will be as close to the community as any law enforcement officer in our state. You will be well known as a neighbor and a friend, as well as a law enforcement officer. That makes your job a special privilege and an extra burden, if you will. Good luck with it. Finally, I just want to thank each of you for your willingness to step forward and serve, and to thank you on the behalf of the people of our state for whom I work. God bless you, and good luck. Thank you, Governor Carney. At this time, I would ask Attorney General Jennings to address the class. Good evening, everyone, and good evening to this class. Thank you all for inviting me here today. I have come to these graduations for decades, and I can tell you this is among the most joyous occasions that I participate in, that I have the honor of participating in with all of you. Um, the work that these young recruits have done throughout these last several months 
is hard work. It is intense work. There's a lot to learn. There are skills to gain. And the people sitting here tonight, the women and men, have excelled at every one of those skills. I want to thank the family members, the loved ones, the babies, for, for also participating tonight because you have sacrificed a great deal already so that these young women and men could serve our state with pride. Thank you so much for your own sacrifices. And as the governor so graciously and aptly said, we will do our best to make sure that each and every day is a safe day, that these individuals who you love so much enjoy the work that they do, are honored and respected for the work that they do, and that their legacy is one of true public service. Each one of the graduates before us, as well as the friends and family members who support them, as I say, have sacrificed a great deal to reach this day. The best, I believe, of what comes out of a police academy class, having never done one myself, <laughs> is the camaraderie that a culture of service brings to you. You know each other so well now, and as you go forward in your careers, you will work together whether it's with the Delaware State Police or other municipal police agencies in our state. And let me say this, the Delaware State Police and the other agencies represented here are the gold standard of policing in our nation. They do a great job. They make sacrifices each and every day and they uphold the values of policing integrity, honor, and service. As our Delaware's own President Joe Biden says, the best of what we do is not to lead by the example of our power, but to lead by the power of our example. Each and every day, you will bring those examples by doing the following. You will uphold the rule of law by your example. You will protect the rest of us by your example. You will keep us safe by your example. And you will lift up the rest of our state, every community in this state, by the power of the example that you set. I am so honored and proud to be part of this graduation ceremony tonight, and congratulations. Thank you, Attorney General Jennings. It is now my pleasure to invite Secretary Nathaniel McQueen, Jr., Secretary of the Delaware Department of Safety and Homeland Security to address the class. Good afternoon. That was for all of y'all. Good, good afternoon. <laughs> now we require you know, that the recruits sit still and be perfectly you know, straight in their seats. But for the rest of you, this, as the Attorney General reminded you, this is a joyous occasion and a time for celebration. So you can certainly celebrate their accomplishments here this afternoon. So thank you guys for being with us here this afternoon. Certainly thank you to the Governor for joining us this afternoon, the Attorney General. Uh, always great to have their presence with us. Certainly to Colonel Zebley and the executive staff, our Reverend Clergy, our Chiefs are active and retired law enforcement officers, family and friends, and we're always good to have Chief Justice Vaughn with us. Thanks for joining us, sir. And I thank you for swearing in our officers each and every year. Congratulations to the graduates of the 99th DSP and the 95th Municipal Recruit Class. It's an honor and privilege to join you this afternoon as you celebrate your successful completion of the Delaware State Police Training Academy and officially become troopers and police officers in our great state. Congratulations on meeting the overcoming the many obstacles faced by each of you as you have completed the challenging journey over the last 23 weeks. Now a new challenge awaits you. 
Today, the next phase of your journey begins. As you establish new goals for your career, know that you are not starting over. You're taking with you all of your life experiences and all the mentoring, training, and valuable resources that you have learned at the DSP Academy. You will now share the privilege of serving as a police officer and the responsibility of ensuring the safety and security of the citizens and visitors to our state. It is a privilege that you must earn every day. Remember to use your privilege to help lift others. As you carry out your duties and help others in their time of crisis and connect them to resources, remember to treat every citizen with dignity and respect. When and where law enforcement officers fall short, be willing to hold yourselves accountable as well as your colleagues. Delaware is certainly impacted, as is all law enforcement, by the events and actions or lack of actions of officers across the country. Be mindful that now your actions or lack of actions can now impact law enforcement officers across our country. As you begin this exciting journey, know that Delaware law enforcement officers has tremendous support from citizens of our state. As you write your story, be an example of the best in policing and continue to build on that support. Law enforcement agencies across our state are currently facing staffing challenges with retention and recruiting officers. Despite these challenges, Delaware law enforcement officers and Delaware law enforcement leadership remains hopeful. They are hopeful because they know that there are outstanding women and men like the class you see here on the stage this afternoon. I say thank you to our graduates. Thank you for continuing to pursue what may be for many of you a lifelong dream. Thank you for your courage and your willingness to serve. As you, as you embark on this incredible journey, be thankful to your families and supporters who sacrificed and assisted at home while you were in the academy. I wanna give a special thanks to the families and supporters here this afternoon. Your journey is not possible without them. And to the class, to continue to build bridges and honor your oath and live up and build on the class motto of courage in the first face of unrest, you will be successful. It has been said that if you have the courage to start, you have the courage to succeed. Thank you all for having the courage to start. As you add to the rich legacy and history of Delaware law enforcement, be proud of the agency you represent. Be proud to be a part of law enforcement family. Be proud of the communities you are served and be proud of the contributions you will make to the lives of others. We are all Delawareans and together we will succeed. Congratulations. Best wishes and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary McQueen. Lastly, I'd like to invite the superintendent of the Delaware State Police, Colonel Melissa A. Zebley, to address the class. Good evening. On behalf of the members of the Delaware State Police Executive Staff and the women and men of the DSP, I would also like to welcome everyone to this celebration of the 99th DSP and 95th Municipal Recruit Class. I thank our honored guests on stage, Governor Carney, Attorney General Jennings, Secretary McQueen, Chief Ogden, Kate Rohrer, Justice Vaughn, and our DSP chaplain and friend, Reverend Miller. We believe your attendance today demonstrates to these new troopers and officers that you respect their commitment and their courage and will support them in the days ahead as they faithfully serve our Delaware communities. I want to also acknowledge and thank the Delaware State Police Honor Guard and Pipes and Drums, as well as Jonathan Packard, for lending their expertise to this ceremony. To the Delaware State Police Chiefs in, the, in attendance tonight, the DSP and the Academy staff thank you for trusting us with your most valuable resource, your officer. We have always valued the opportunity for Delaware law enforcement officers to train side by side in our academy 
and thereafter work collaboratively throughout our state for the betterment of those we serve. I would also like to acknowledge and thank the family and friends who are here tonight to celebrate the accomplishment of their loved one, and most importantly, to the proud graduates. Tonight, you have earned the highest achievement in every law enforcement officer's career. Your graduation from the challenging DSP Academy and the pride of a police officer's badge being placed over your heart. From your achievement today, all other future opportunities for you to serve will be earned. I encourage you to be in this moment, to look around this room, and appreciate the support you have and the pride you undoubtedly feel for reaching this tremendous milestone. <coughs> for the last 23 weeks, members of the executive staff have had the opportunity to observe this class through conversations in the classroom, quick interactions while on a detail at headquarters perhaps, and throughout their training, we would often offer a brief moment to interact, maybe when finishing up PT or during a flag detail or assignment, and later during our respective overnight stays, where we would offer a word of encouragement and support. In truth, it was your determination to succeed that was inspirational to us every day. We had the opportunity to watch you emerge from the opening and perhaps chaotic stages of your training and find purpose in that pain and fulfillment in that struggle. You grew into a unified, disciplined, and thoughtful group who have proudly donned your agency's uniform of service over the last several weeks. Tonight we will add the final piece to your uniform, the badge that you will place over your heart every day. Last week, during an opportunity for myself and Lieutenant Colonel Meadows to stay overnight with the class, we heard firsthand about their growth as individuals and the journey to finding their character as a class. We wanted to learn about their motivation for pursuing a life of service. What we felt within their individual accounts was the purity in your hearts, the clarity in your eyes, and the integrity of your intentions. Whether coming to Delaware from our neighboring states or from within the smallest communities in our state, you all arrived at the same opportunity with a spirit of service in your hearts. They expressed that regardless of their respective backgrounds, this self-described test of will revealed their similarities. These weeks were, without question, intense and meaningful moments in your young careers, and you have embraced every test together. You found courage in the face of unrest. They recognized the need to always give their best, even when they didn't feel their best, to make others around them better and allow them to lend assistance to you when you needed it, and to wake up the next day and do it all again. From those consistent habits, we represent the best of our shared mission. Trust that your training has prepared you for the journey ahead. For that reason, I must also commend your academy staff for the innovative approaches they took to ensure your training environment met the demands and expectations of a modern police officer and agency. As told by the graduates, they felt lucky to have this academy staff. They now feel encouraged and supported to advance to the next stage of their law enforcement career. The academy staff's connection does not cease upon graduation. It will only strengthen as your careers unfold. Please continue to seek their guidance in the years ahead. Be assured that you are joining a law enforcement family of women and men who are proud to wear the uniform. Those who leave their homes and families every day and go to work because they believe in the spirit of service that drew them to this work. And like you, they want to make a difference in their communities. Your willingness to join this noble calling at this time will be a source of inspiration to the next generation who are seeking a life of service. We know we need more in our ranks. And while some count the number of you solely with their eyes, we count the quality of your character, and we know you are prepared. Continue to put your character on display at each opportunity, and it will give you countless ch chances to make a difference in the lives of others. As you did during your academy stay, find those occasions to give back so that you are consistently enriching your own spirit of service. To the families and supporters of these graduates, I thank you for sharing your loved one with us over the past 23 weeks and for supporting them in the years ahead. 
You have made many sacrifices for them to pursue this dream. I welcome you as well to the Delaware law enforcement family. We are all strengthened by your support. And in closing to our graduates, your families will continue to play a very important role in your success. They laid the foundation for your future by instilling in each of you a strength of character, which was reinforced by our core values. As you make sacrifices in your new career, remember your commitments to your family and your friends must remain essential. It will be my honor to bear witness to your badge pinning today. As that shield is placed, I ask you to cherish the oath you recited each night, the one you will recite again today. That badge is an outward sign of your pledge to honor your oath. And as I hear your voices proudly recite that oath, I renew mine as well. To include my pledge to represent all of you and those we are entrusted to protect with a humble, grateful heart. As we celebrate our first century of service, we proudly look to you to represent the thoughtful, dedicated, and bright future of our noble profession. It is my honor to serve with you. Congratulations, and may God bless you all. Thank you, Colonel Zebley. In keeping with tradition, this class has chosen a spokesperson to represent the class at this evening's graduation. The goal of the spokesperson is to attempt to encapsulate the academy experience from the class's perspective in words. The members of this class have selected recruit Gregory Conterno to speak on their behalf. It is my pleasure to welcome recruit Conterno to the podium. Thank you, sir. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gregory Contorno, and before you is the 99th Delaware State Police and 95th Municipal Recruit Class. I would like to thank the class for selecting me to speak on their behalf. These law enforcement officers are a product of 23 long, intensive training weeks. I would like to take a moment and recognize and thank several people who made these 23 weeks possible. First, Colonel Melissa A. Zebley and the executive staff who provided this training opportunity to the officers and troopers of this class. Thank you for overseeing this incredible academy and making sure the recruits have the very best training to become well-rounded law enforcement officers. Director of Training Captain Daniel Hall and Lieutenant Paul Doherty also played a huge role in the success of the recruits. Captain Daniel Hall took pride in classes, in the classes service to community by donating and volunteering to several events. They included the reindeer run and the polar bear punch, which would benefit Special Olympics Delaware. Lieutenant Paul Doherty was tasked with wearing many hats during this training cycle, and it certainly did not go unnoticed as he kept the ship sailing smooth. Next, I would like to thank all the command staff, the chiefs, background investigators, polygraphers, and everyone involved in hand selecting the individuals you see on this stage. As many of us know, the hiring process alone can be a very long and grueling process. Hiring a law enforcement officer is not an easy task, which is why we want to extend our greatest appreciation for all of your time and hard work. Chef James Howard, thank you for fueling our bodies to get us through each day. We are forever indebted to you. We recognize and appreciate the amount of time you spent in the kitchen for ensuring the recruits and tax staff were properly fed. Ms. Kim Cuffey, thank you for making sure we not only had the supplies to keep the academy clean, but thank you for being so diligent in ordering and organizing all the uniforms and supplies necessary for these troopers to be successful on the road. We would also like to thank our administrative specialist, Ms. Lacey Neald, for all that you have done for us in these last 23 weeks of our stay. I would now like to acknowledge you, the family and friends of the individuals you see on the stage. I understand many of you had to travel for this event and it means the world to us that you took the time out of your day to come and support us. We have families from Johnstown, Pennsylvania, families from Harrison, Mount Olive, and Gibbstown, New Jersey, and families from across the state of Delaware 
from Wilmington to Gumborough. When we first told you we were applying to be a law enforcement officer, there may have been some fear in that. But you were still there to provide endless love, support, and words of encouragement throughout this journey. You stood in our corner when times got tough. You were a rock. Your support got us through the Delaware State Police Academy. It's because of you we were able to push through week by week. Seeing you on the weekends gave us something to look forward to. Recruit Lewis and Recruit Padillo both have children at home, and I can distinctly recall them saying, I can't wait to see my kids. I especially want to thank the spouses of this class, as you held down the fort as we were gone for the week. Even being home on the weekends, we, were prob we probably weren't a big help as we were recovering from Master Corporal Kukan's workouts or preparing for the next week. I hope that you, the families and loved ones of the people on stage, are proud. I bet you didn't know that when your loved one told you they got hired, you'd be along for the ride as well. This next group of individuals have been with us every step of the way, spending long days and long nights of their time. We know them as the TACs. The acronym TAC stands for Trainer, Advisor, and Counselor. Our TACs know exactly when to flip the switch between training the recruits and being a life coach. I know it may not seem like it, but throughout this entire academy, any one of these recruits were able to approach a member of the TAC staff for advice. Each one of them brought forth a specific skill to help mold all 19 of us. Sergeant Cordray played a huge role in the schedule of the academy, ensuring to far exceed the standards set forth by the Council on Police Training. Master Corporal Walther is our lead defensive tactics instructor, spending countless hours training himself so that he could train us to protect ourselves and the people of Delaware on patrol. Master Corporal Walther coordinated boxing, ground fighting, and everything hands-on to keep us in the fight. Master Corporal Kukan's job is to make sure our bodies are above and beyond the law enforcement standard, whether that be increasing our postural integrity for wearing a duty belt for 12 hours or bettering our cardiovascular health in case we get in a foot chase. Just a little testament to Master Corporal Kukan's fitness. This January, we learned it was Master Corporal Kukan's personal goal to run 100 miles backwards. There are not enough words to describe Master Corporal Kukan's fitness capabilities. Then there's Master Corporal O'Leary. Master Corporal O'Leary honed and pressed our tactical skills, always making sure we were checking our corners by hiding in the most unthought of places, or calling right arm, right leg, for self-tourniquet application. We would also like to thank Master Corporal O'Leary for the endless amounts of red ink on our papers and teaching us that accuracy and proper punctuation matter when you write your report. I think the number one quality worth recognizing about all of our attacks is that they cared. Not only about their jobs, but they cared about making us the best we could be. We have heard from countless instructors that the 99th Delaware State Police and 95th Municipal Recruit Class have the best tax that we could ask for. These gentlemen demonstrate the highest level of what it means to be a law enforcement officer. I hope that one day I may live up to half of what these men have accomplished. This brings me to the last group of individuals I would like to recognize. We first met in the parking lot at Delaware State University to conduct our PT test at the Haddock Succeed session. Then October 2nd came, just two weeks later. This marked day one and the beginning of the next 23 weeks together. As many of you have seen from the pictures earlier, week one was filled with lots of chaos. However, it wasn't long before we realized we had to work together if we wanted to make it through. We started this journey as strangers, coming from all different backgrounds. But through these 23 weeks, we've grown to be family. Even in some of our darkest times, we were able to pick each other up, making some incredible memories along the way that I hope we can cherish forever. As we gather here tonight in celebration of completing the academy and starting the next chapter in our professional careers, I would like you, the 99th Delaware State Police and 95th Municipal Recruit Class, to remember a few things. The first 
is that as we walk across this stage in just a few moments, keep in mind you now wear two names on your chest, your family name and your agency's name. We're both with honor and pride. The next is that you remember how strong our bond is together. I ask that we do our best to stay in touch with each other, reach out, plan to get together, because there is no one else in the world that shares the bond we have. The last thing I want to leave you with is remember the amount of time and effort you put into yourselves. Don't sell yourself short when you look in the mirror. Be proud of where you have been, where you are, and where you're going. Thank you all again for taking the time to come and support this great class. Ladies and gentlemen, the 99th Delaware State Police and 95th Municipal Police Class. Thank you, Recruit Contorno. At this time, we will proceed with a presentation of several special awards. These awards recognize those members of the class that performed in an outstanding or exemplary manner in the areas of leadership, teamwork and service, academic excellence, firearms proficiency, physical fitness, and the demonstration of Delaware State Police core values of honor, integrity, courage, loyalty, attitude, discipline, and service during the past 23 weeks. Our first award is the Physical Fitness Award. This award recognizes the member of the class who demonstrated outstanding overall excellence in physical fitness during recruit training. This award will be presented by Sergeant Cordry. The recipient of the Physical Fitness Award is Recruit Trooper Jare Hammond. Thank you, Sergeant Cordry. The next award is the Outstanding Proficiency in Police Firearms Award. This award recognizes the member of the class who demonstrated the highest proficiency in marksmanship and dedication to the art of shooting. This award will be presented by Lieutenant Paul Darty. The recipient of the Outstanding Proficiency in Police Firearms Award for the 95th Municipal Recruit Class is Recruit Samuel Jester of the University of Delaware Police Department. The recipient of the Outstanding Proficiency in Police Farms Award for the Delaware State Police is Recruit Trooper Mitchell Leslie. Thank you, Lieutenant Darty. Next, we have the Delaware State Police Academy Law Enforcement Core Values Award. This award is presented to the recruit who most exemplified the spirit of the Academy Core Values of honor, integrity, courage, loyalty, attitude, discipline, and service. Presenting this award is Colonel Zebley. The recipient of the Delaware State Police Academy Core Values Award is recruit Lori Ferguson of the Department of Natural Resources, Parks, and Recreation. Thank you, Colonel Zebley. The next award is the Secretary of Safety and Homeland Security Award, which is presented to the recruit who, by his or her abilities and actions, demonstrated exemplary commitment towards teamwork and service. Presenting this award is Secretary McQueen. The recipient of the Secretary of Safety and Homeland Security Award is Recruit Trooper Colby Collins.
Thank you, Secretary McQueen. Next, we have the Attorney General's Award for Legal Excellence, which is initiated by the Delaware Attorney General's Office in 1989. This award is presented to a class member who demonstrated the highest degree of academic excellence in the six core areas of legal study. Presenting this award is Delaware Attorney General Kathleen Jennings. The recipient of the Attorney General's Award for Legal Excellence is Recruit Trooper Diana Torres. Thank you, A.G. Jennings. The next award is the Delaware Association of Chiefs of Police Award, which is presented to municipal recruit who demonstrated the highest qualities of leadership while attending the academy. The Delaware Police Chief Council is comprised of each Delaware Police Chief, as well as a superintendent of the Delaware State Police. The council was formed in 1971 for the purpose of enhancing the law enforcement profession in Delaware and establishing standardization uniformity throughout the law enforcement community. Presenting this award is Chief Patrick Ogden. The recipient of the Delaware Association Chiefs of Police Award is Recruit Patrick Henry of the Delaware Department of Natural Resources, Parks, and Recreation. Thank you, Chief Ogden. Tonight's final individual award is the Governor's Outstanding Recruit Trooper Award. This award is presented to the Recruit Trooper who's demonstrated outstanding overall leadership while attending Delaware State Police Academy. Presenting the award tonight is Colonel Melissa A. Zebley. The recipient of the Governor's Outstanding Recruit Trooper Award is Recruit Trooper Kolina Markovich. Thank you, Colonel. Colonel Zebley, the members of the 99th Delaware State Police and 95th Municipal Recruit Class have exceeded all of the Delaware Council on Police Training and Delaware State Police Academy training requirements. The members of the Delaware State Police Academy staff are extremely proud of this graduating class. We are confident that they are well prepared to meet the challenges that they will encounter during their careers in law enforcement. Colonel Zebley, on behalf of the entire Academy staff, I proudly recommend each of these fine women and men for graduation from the Delaware State Police Academy. To the members of the 99th Delaware State Police and 95th Municipal Recruit Class, this is the moment all of you have been waiting for, the moment you have worked so hard for, the moment your family has sacrificed so much for, the moment that at times may have seemed unattainable. At this time, we'll proceed with the pinning of badges and the official start of your service to your respective agencies communities, state, and country. These badges represent strength, they represent devotion and duty, and they serve as an outwardly visible symbol that you are a protector of all. I would now ask that those predetermined individuals or chiefs who are pinning a recruit, please step forward and meet Master Corporal Walther to my right on the ramp. We would ask that everyone be respectful of others if you choose to come forward to take pictures of your family member receiving his or her badge if inclined. Now I would respectfully ask that you all refrain from applause until every member of the class has received their badge. Your loved ones enter the Delaware State Police Academy as individuals, but leave today as equals, team members, but most importantly, family. I ask the members of the 99th Delaware State Police and 95th Municipal Recruit Class to receive a single roar innovation once they've received all their badges. Assistant Director of Training, Lieutenant Paul Daugherty, will now proceed with a presentation of the badge and that call for that thunderous applause once completed. Trooper Colby Collins, Delaware State Police. Pinning Trooper Collins this evening is his father, Master Corporal Keith Collins, 
also the Delaware State Police. Trooper Alicia Evans, Delaware State Police. Pending Trooper Evans this evening is her husband, Trooper First Class John Evans III, also at Delaware State Police. Trooper Jaray Hammond, Delaware State Police. Penny Trooper Hammond this evening, Colonel Melissa A. Zebley. Trooper Ryan Jones, Delaware State Police. Penny Trooper Jones this evening is his father, Lieutenant Robert Jones, Delaware State Police, retired. Trooper Mitchell Leslie, Delaware State Police. Penny Trooper Leslie this evening, Colonel Melissa A. Zebley. Trooper Marquis Lewis. Delaware State Police. Pinning Trooper Lewis is evening is Colonel Melissa A. Zebley. <laughs> Trooper Kolina Markovich, Delaware State Police. Penny Trooper Markovich this evening is her father, Officer Arlen Markovich of the Loretto Borough, Pennsylvania Police Department. Trooper Rennie McKinnon, Delaware State Police. Penny Trooper McKinnon this evening is his father-in-law, Lieutenant Richard Cohey, Delaware State Police, retired. Trooper Brandon Ruiz, Delaware State Police. Pinning Trooper Ruiz this evening is his father, Master Corporal Ronaldo Ruiz, the Newcastle County, Delaware Police Department. Trooper Michael Rummel, Delaware State Police. Penny Trooper Rummel this evening, Colonel Melissa A. Zebley.
Trooper Jose Santos, Delaware State Police. Pending Trooper Santos this evening, Colonel Molise Zembley. Trooper Joseph Shanahan, Delaware State Police. Pending Trooper Shanahan this evening, it's his father, Major Joseph Shanahan, New Jersey State Police, retired. Trooper Diana Torres, Delaware State Police. Pending Trooper Torres this evening, Colonel Melissa A. Zeppelin. Officer Gregory Contorno. Bethany Beach Police Department. Pending Officer Contorno this evening is Captain Darren Cappell. Officer Lori Ferguson, Delaware Natural Resources Police, State Parks Enforcement. Pending Officer Ferguson this evening, Chief Wayne Klein. Officer Patrick Henry, Delaware Natural Resources Police, State Parks Enforcement. Pending Officer Henry this evening is his cousin, Trooper First Class Joseph Aviola, Delaware State Police. Officer Samuel Jester, University of Delaware Police Department. Pending Officer Jester this evening, Chief Patrick Ogden. Officer Angel Padillo, Middletown Police Department. Pending Officer Padillo this evening, Chief William Texter. Officer Joseph Wunsch, Smyrna Police Department. Pending Officer Wunsch this evening, Chief Tory James.
Ladies and gentlemen, will you please join me in congratulating the newest members of Delaware Law Enforcement Committee. At this time, I would ask Judge James T. Vaughn, Jr. to administer the oath of office to, to the members of the 99th Delaware State Police recruit class. Raise your right arms. Raise your right arms. Say aye, pronounce your name in full, and then repeat after me. Aye, Colby Collins. Aye, Alicia Evans. Aye, Tyree Hinn. Aye, Ryan Jones. Hi, Mitchell Leslie. Hi, Marky Lewis. Hi, Polina Markovich. Hi, Randy McKinnon. Hi, Brandon Rui. Hi, Michael Rummel. Hi, Jose Santos. Hi, Joseph Shanahan. Hi, Diana Torres. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That as long as I am employed. That as long as I am employed. By the Delaware State Police. By the Delaware State Police. I will bear true faith and allegiance. I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the United States of America. And the state of Delaware. And the state of Delaware. And that I will serve them. And I will serve them. Honestly and faithfully. Honestly and faithfully. Against all its enemies. Against all its enemies. Whomsoever. Whomsoever. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution. The Constitution. Of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of Delaware. And faithfully, discharge and faithfully discharge all the duties, all the duties of, an officer of an officer in the Delaware State Police, in the Delaware State Police according, to the best according to the best of my ability, of my ability that, I will obey that I will obey the orders, the orders of, the officers of the officers appointed over me. Appointed over me. I further agree, I further agree to, to submit to any penalties imposed upon me in accordance with the rules of the organization. Okay, congratulations. That completes it. Ladies and gentlemen, as we fast approach the conclusion of this evening's graduation ceremony, I would like to thank the Capital School District and Dover High School and their employees for graciously hosting this evening's event. I would also like to thank the many indispensable individuals who played a role in ensuring that tonight's ceremony was a success. I would also once again like to thank you, family and friends alike, for the roles each of you have played in securing the success of today's graduates and ask that you continue to support them through their professional journeys. It won't be easy, but with the right mix of love, support, and understanding, all of our graduates will maximize their success as well as the degree of positive impact that they will have on the citizens they will serve. In serving well, each of them will continue to make each of you just as proud of them the remainder of their careers as you are of them this evening. At this time, I would again ask that everyone capable of doing so please rise for a benediction and remain standing for the dismissal of the class. Reverend Miller will now deliver the benediction. We thank our God for what we have been privileged to witness here today. And as we go forward, let us be reminded to allow our God to be our guide and our helper. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, the recruit class will close this evening's ceremony with a time-honored tradition of passing the guide on back to the Academy Tax staff. 
The guide on was issued to the class at the beginning of their training. Passing the guide on back to the staff symbolized the completion of their training as recruits and more importantly, the beginning of their journeys as law enforcement professionals. Sergeant Cordry, please accept the guide on and dismiss the class.